Thank you for joining tonight. It's September 23rd and we are on, we have a week left in the month to go ahead and inspire three to five lives. I know you probably see the name David Atkins. Uh, normally you have on this call listed as Stacy Lurie, so that's not my name either. Um, <laughs> my name is Shannon and I have been a coach on this team for five years. This is my anniversary month um, and it's been a really exciting month. Uh, personal fun fact, I just married my first daughter. Woo -woo! So I'm a mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Um, and it was wonderful. So David and Kristen, they had some obligations tonight with their three kids and they figured because I'm empty nested, I may uh, be the right person to be available tonight. Uh, but here's another fun fact. I'm actually traveling corporately and I am posting, I am doing this call from a hotel room in Hilton Head Island. So no excuses guys, we can all make time to go ahead and help each other out. Um, Lots of different ways. So we're going to get right to the call. If I can just ask everybody to go ahead and mute themselves. Are you guys okay Do you know how to do that? I can do it individually. Um, and it's not because I don't want to hear from you. It's just because there's just some background noise. Right. right. So we're going to go through just a couple of things that are going on. Uh, can everybody, oh, I didn't share my screen yet. Hold on. Gosh, it's been a really long time since I've run my own team call, so I'm maybe a little out of practice. Everybody see my screen now? Okay, I see Karen. All right, great. Thanks, Karen. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's all of us guys, right? Team Perseverance, and it's September 23rd, and we have some great things coming up. Um, if you haven't signed up for the Team Perseverance uh, text messaging, please make sure that you've done so already. You can do that um, right here by using this number, and it will go ahead and give you updates. And they don't update, they don't send you too many texts. It's really just for team calls. Um, and making sure making sure that you guys are up on some up and coming things that are coming out. So make sure that you have done that. Um, but for now, uh, these are the things that you'll get updates on. Our getting started right call was uh, just this past 45 minutes. It was great. We had a new coach on the call and it was fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna, I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna make sure you guys are muted. Okay, um, and make sure that you've also signed up for the team website. If you, um, if any of you coaches have any websites of your own, it's always a good idea to also have a hyperlink uh, for people to stay connected with Team P as well. Uh, remember, they are our upline team, and there is so much wealth, so much knowledge here. Um, and David and Kristen really do so much for us that it's really important that you. Um, tie into that. You want to own your own business and you want to do uh, a lot on your own, but there is so much that you don't have to do on your own because we really are a team and it's important to lean in and you just feel more connected when you're doing that. So make sure that you are part of the team website as well. And if you haven't gotten into a coach basics training, you want to go ahead and start that immediately. A new one starts every first Monday of the month. However, you can actually do this self-paced on your own in the home office and I'm for some of you so, um, I know some of the coaches on this team have already know that there's going to be a big announcement next week in regards to coach basics um, and I know that David's really excited to go ahead and share all of that um, if you are unmuted I know others are still hopping yeah. All. More minute for 15 seconds. I'm trying to go ahead and keep track of it, but I can't. Okay, there we go. I don't want to just let's make sure everybody's me. There we go. I think I got everybody. All right, sorry about that. So on that getting um, has everybody gone through their six six-figure hustle guide? 
filled it in and gone over it with their coach. This is really important, guys. It's really important to write things down because when you write things down, it becomes real, right? You can look at it, read it, see it, and remind yourself as much as possible. Um, Monday morning wake up calls. Guys, you know, Beachbody used to just have a phone number that we called into, but now they offer access to these wake up calls so many different ways. You can get on the Beachbody 411 Facebook page and watch it live. You can join the podcast uh, and listen to the recording at any time. You can dial in and there available to you all the time. So three different ways now that you can go ahead and listen to the national wake up call. And that's every day at, I'm sorry, every Monday at 11 AM. Um, and then our team call of course is every other Monday night. Um, here is a little, uh, weekly reminder. This is the newsletter that you'll get if you go ahead and sign up for it. Um, that comes out every week about what is happening in that week and what you should be doing on a day to day basis. You know, a lot of times when we get started as coaches, people don't just don't even know where to begin. Like, what should I do today? Like, you're not supposed to know how to be a coach. <laughs> Think, you know, it's no, nobody really knows how to be a coach. You know that you love the product, but you want to make sure that you're kind of staying on point, especially if it is uh, a business that you want to own. And I just love these. I go ahead and copy these and I put them right into my own team page because I just think they're fabulous. Just a really good outline of what is going on each day in the business, uh, what's going on with our team, when should we push for Emerald, uh, how can we connect in for team calls, when are new products coming out, and the new product that we are all getting very excited about right now is the six weeks of work. Who is trying this program? And when I say trying, it means because I don't think anybody's gonna really be able to do it. And if you can, wow, that's all I gotta say. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm debating if I can even start this because I'm still going through MM100. I couldn't double on my MM100 workouts. It just, I couldn't. Um, I'm not in the best shape of my life right now. <laughs> I'm working towards that. So um, I'm a little intimidated by it. Eventually I'll get there. Um, but I'm excited uh, to share it because I do know that there's a lot of insanity lovers out there and there's a lot of uh, P90X lovers out there. And I think we, since like the shift shop and, um, uh, hammer and chisel this is like a really intense program that we haven't really had a really intense program i think like this in a long time so um i mean we've had t20 and we've had others but i'm i, I think this one there's cursing in it it's got to be intense right <laughs> which is amazing that they i guess the whole thing is probably going to be bleeped out i can't imagine um anyway some push goals how many of you, and you don't have to raise your hands, but ask yourself, am I pushing to uh, own, really, really, really own a business? And so what you truly want to do is become a one-star diamond by December 31st. Put an alarm in your phone uh, for December 15th. Then, you know, by December 31st, it'll happen. You know, give yourself that push goal to, if you want to become a diamond coach, well, why not have your best friend become a diamond coach too, right? And then you get to go to LA together. Guys, you don't want to go to New Leader Conference alone. It's so much more fun when you do it with somebody else. I didn't go alone. I went with two other coaches on this team. It was amazing. Uh, we learned so much and uh, it's a really great goal to make in your first year. You're going to feel like you are making progress. And even if you don't, you're still making progress. It's no, there's really no rush in this business, but at the same time, it's really nice to go ahead and push for new leader conference because there's so much excitement there. You probably have heard a uh, buzz around uh, these two terms here. What's an elite coach? What's in a premier coach? The difference between the two is that to achieve elite or premier coach status is really not about you at all. 
It's actually about your team and how much your team is engaged with inspiring other people. And so uh, logistically, it's you advancing your business to five star uh, with two of those people being new diamonds. So if you're a three star now, then you have to have two new diamonds in this year, in this qualifying year, uh, along with 105 leadership points. And again, don't worry about knowing all of this there are graphs for it you just have to talk to your coach if this is a goal of yours and then here for premier coach it's advancing your business to two star within one year and having 75 leadership points and guys these are things that are fun to go ahead and push for but again you can't do it on your own it is definitely a team effort okay so recognition is a huge vital behavior of team beach body so again these are all of you and and i we're i'm on this list too so we and so is my husband stacy so we are all rising stars meaning we are inspiring lives folks you are changing lives you are working hard so um remember you're working hard every single month uh it doesn't matter if you hit success club or not you're inspiring people every single day even in your facebook posts uh just know that um and we're gonna go over a bunch of things tonight um, and I really want there to be open dialogue because it's not just going to be about me telling you things. So I would really like it to be back and forth. Uh, but before we get started, we want to also go ahead and recognize our uh, Team Perseverance All-Stars for September so far. Um, this is team volume. That means your team is producing this amount of volume. So David, Joan, Laura, Melanie, Sharice, Julia, Devin, Joanna, Teresa, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Guerrera, Gina, Nicole. Way to go, folks. I mean, you're hitting at least 500 PV, uh, I'm sorry, TV here. And that means your team is buying into inspiring others as well. And if you don't know what, um, if you don't know how to, you know, what brings on different amounts of team volume, there's a really nice grid for that. I know that uh, it's in our online office. And if you don't know how to access it, uh, ask your coach to do that or go ahead and explore. And then a big shout out to our legends so far this month. Kristen is killing it. Holy moly. Uh, with over 2,300. <laughs> Wow. Uh, team volume points. Lindsay, you are killing it, girl, every single day with uh, just over 1,100. And Michelle, you too. I keep seeing those names consistently up there. So guys, way to go. You're awesome. Welcome to all of the new coaches this month. Guys, look at this. Every month I see at least three columns of new coaches. This is everybody who has joined uh, in August and I cannot wait to see all of the coaches who have joined in September because I have seen people like Bruce Broder go Emerald. So we know that he has two new September uh, coaches. So way to go, shout out to Michelle in that awesome blue dress. You look amazing. Um, and then what's new in your coach office? Um, again, you, um, you want to know in that column, you, you know, as soon as you go ahead and log into your coach office, you should be logging into that every single day. Go ahead and see what's new, what's coming out. Um, right now, David and Kristen are having weekly mentorship calls each month. Um, this is a push call. If you have some goals that you want to achieve and you want some accountability for it, and the requirements is to get into this push group is that you have Success Club 2, meaning you have inspired at least one person, but you are also an active Emerald coach, meaning you have inspired two Emerald coaches. And then in order to stay in this group each month, you have to go ahead and hit Success Club every single month. I hope everybody has their ticket to summit. I have mine. Um, it's uh, just do it now, put it on your calendar. Don't wait to see if you have something else planned. Put, make this a priority, guys. This is a time for our team to get together, to learn, to grow, to meet each other. And there are always incredible memories made at Summit um, and tremendous business advancements after Summit because so much, so many aha things. And you kind of really get to see what the big, um, 
uh, the overall picture is the impact that we make as a company on people's lives. So, um, okay, one week from today, the work comes out. Um, I showed a couple of people that I work with uh, this guy's picture and they were like, yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> It's kind of funny. <laughs> so, you know, it's funny what motivates people. So um, right now the free sample of the workout is on Beachbody On Demand. Guys, this is an opportunity. We have a free sample for a whole week to offer people on our social media, in our conversations, all those old conversations that we've had with people, you want to go ahead and take this opportunity to go ahead and share with it. So the team-wide training launch details will be on this Thursday, okay? So go ahead and make note, make note now um, that at 8.30 this Thursday, there will be a Zoom call. All right, so who is going to get to, oh, I didn't know about this promo that they have going on here. Get to Emeralds in 24 hours. <laughs> um, so there will be a live training this Thursday at 9 p.m. And then, of course, for the next six weeks thereafter. All right, so what else? So we have September promo codes. You want to be sure to use those guys. If you have been around for at least, let's say, has it been since Summit, right? I think that's when it started in July. Um, every time you use a promo code, you get another promo code for that next month. So you have until September 30th. They are $10 off of challenge packs, um, which is incredible because I feel like we give this, I feel like we're giving our stuff away for free almost. I don't know about you. Um, guys, they planned this year in regards to pumpkin spice. They planned because last year we were out of it like so quickly. And so this year they planned for it above and beyond. So uh, there's still some uh, time to get your pumpkin spice Shakeology. I ordered enough for the rest of the season. So I know that I'm good, um, but it's delicious. I actually had some today. I brought my blender with me um, here to Hilton Head and I went down to the conference center and someone's like, where'd you get that? What is that? And I said, it's a pumpkin spice latte smoothie. <laughs> and I got these looks like, where'd you get that? I'm like, I made it myself. It was funny because at, they were like, you, you have that here with you? Like you, you have those ingredients? And I was like, no, I drink Shakeology. And they're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to remind people of the things you do. I think, let's see, is that the last one? Something's funny is happening. Okay, yeah, that was the last slide. So adding value in your content. I'm gonna stop share, okay? And anybody have any questions? I'd like to hear from you guys first um, because I don't, I speak for a living and I don't like to just hear myself talk. So I'm more of an interactive type person. So if there's anything you want to say or you want to ask, um, please do it because I think it's more fun that way. I don't like just listening to myself. Um, Shannon. Yeah. Shannon. Yeah. Shanna, hey. Great. <laughs> so I did the, uh, the work sample workout today. Take the platform. Let's share. What was it like? <laughs> Um, I posted every single um, movement in my Instagram story. So I don't know if y'all follow me. You may not. I really don't know. But I, I posted started. all of them. <clears throat> so um, he's not as uh, aggressive as you think when he's, like, in the workouts. Like, he's just trying to post, like, hey, it's going to be a hard one. Yes, it is a hard one. All right? It's a tough one. Um, but he had stuff from, like, agility to uh, plyometric, isometric, like all of these different kinds of things that are in a sample workout, just like, like MM100, you know, like they don't do all this in one workout, you know, like it's all like just, just showing you like, okay, this is what it's going to be like. And that's kind of what he did today. And it was a lot. And I was kind of even embarrassed about my movements on some of them because I was like, I have to learn to do this. Like, this is so different than anything I've done. So, um, 
literally I posted every movement. If you want to see what the sample work out looks like in my Instagram story. So you'd have to follow me to be there. But, um, I will say this, it, it, it killed me. And he honestly, um, yep. He even says like, if you go watch the sample workout, there is going to be an explicit version <clears throat> where he is cussing a lot on there. So, and he even says like, if it's around your kids, don't play this, but he, he is calling it out to like, I want like intense folks in here. And for me, I was like, yes, like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> and so um, anyway, so I, I did it today and it honestly was so different than anything that I thought. So we, we went from like lunges to um, chin ups to, to Lord knows like, like he has like, you have to buy like the little foot things like the sliders. Yeah. You, you'd have to get that as well. So awesome. anyway, I'm just going to say, I stink and loved it. I loved it. Awesome. And so and, and that was not like an MM100 person. So for me, this is like game changer. I saw MM100 and I was like, no, thank you. And so for a lot of y'all ladies, you saw MM100 and you were like, yes, got this. And I was like, nope. <laughs> so for me, this, this is like my jam. That's so awesome. you have got, I want to meet myself. No, I think that's so great, Griffin. Thank you. And you want to know something though? There's so much importance. You know, I love that you're that you said like what you were into and what you were not into, right? Like at first you were like MM100, not really your thing. I don't even know if you're doing that program or not. Um, but the thing is, is that every program is not going to be your jam. We had. I remember somebody said, "Why did they do so many program launches in one year? Right? Like why three? Right. And I think there's going to be like a, a, a bar one at Christmas time. Like, right. Like we, that'll be four this year. And the reason is, is because we're not just an intense, crazy fitness company. We are a solution based lifestyle company. And we have to be able to provide and offer something for everybody. However, let me tell you what gets people results. And it goes way back to, P90X and muscle confusion. Sometimes you got to do something to let your body rest. Sometimes you got to do something you don't like because it's a mental challenge. Sometimes you have to do something that's a little harder than you think you can do and believe in yourself so that you can grow stronger. Or maybe you need to up your game if you haven't lost weight and you've been mediocre for, or what's the word, plateaued for X number of years. You got to do something different. You can't just always do what you like or what's your jam, right? So you got to step out of those comfort zones. And one, well, I'm, I can't wait to see you do Pure Bar. It's going to be, Griffin, you're going to love it. <laughs> so, um, I always, um, I always make jokes because um, I grew up as a dancer, but I, I don't find myself very graceful anymore. But, <laughs> and I do enjoy programs like, you know, Insanity and all the, because for me, it's more of a release. Okay, so let's get to uh, tonight's topic. And um, I wanna hear some questions from you first about content creation. Um, you know, one of the uh, questions was, I wanna know, um, somebody said they wanna make sure that their coaches know how not to be salesy. Someone else said they wanted to know about how to produce good content. And, you know, I wanna hear some, I wanna hear some questions you guys have, or maybe you feel like you're producing good content, but maybe you're not getting good engagement. And let's have a little bit of dialogue before I give you what to do and what not to do, okay? Because what to do, it's not necessarily like what I do is right. You know, these things change. Um, so what I've done is I've actually gone to a resource, like a very, 
like a current resource that says what to do and what not to. So we're going to go through those things and we're all going to learn together. But I want to hear a little bit of feedback from you as to, are you getting a lot of engagement? Are you not getting a lot of engagement? Um, are you at a loss for words? Talk to me. Come on. You guys asked for this topic, so I want I got, I got it. <laughs> It's Karen. Hey, Karen. Um, so I've been doing this for a long time. So uh, I find mostly I get a lot of engagement on the really silly, stupid stuff. <laughs> it's <laughs> like post the fifth picture in your camera roll kind of thing gets people interested in participating. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when it comes to the health and fitness posts, not so much. You get a, I get a lot of crickets on that. Can you give me an example of a health and fitness post? Is it you sharing what you're doing? Uh, sometimes I'm um, sharing my workout that I did and how it went, or I'm sharing uh, nutrition things, you know, what I was eating, why I was eating it, things like that. Uh, Okay. It's different things. Sometimes my uh, personal development, which actually the personal development, I get a few more comments mm -hmm. because I'll like show quotes and, and stuff from that. Mm -hmm. So those go a little better, but like the workout ones are very rarely engaging. So yeah. Yeah. Because most people don't want to work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they just they just most people don't and yeah, um, i don't want to work out yeah but like, i have to <laughs> guess what guess what there's your post <laughs> yes and i've done that one too but <laughs> yeah and so again it's it's a matter of speaking to your um to your audience so you're getting you know that you're getting feedback on these funny silly posts so we have to find creative ways to tap into that so that they engage yeah. on those and it may not be posting your workouts it may be inspiring them in another way so we'll go through a couple of different tips here in a moment anybody else Want to share ways that they want to improve their engagement problems? Hey, hey, hi. Um, so one thing I've been encountering later lately, and I think we probably all struggle with this, is that honestly I get so wrapped up in trying to get an awesome post or an awesome photo out there or you know, like the best shot and it feels so fake to me. Honestly, it sometimes it's not like I'm it's not my genuine self. Ah, so what I like to try to figure out is how to find those best moments to actually get that photo shot, get that dialogue rolling so that it, it is meaningful for other people and not just about me because I, I think it's cheesy to have it always be about me or my kids or you know so I, I've tried looking at different ideas as far as what's valuable to people and that I think that's my biggest struggle is, is really trying to find what's valuable to people and not just about me because it can't just be about me it has to be about them I love that. I love, I love that. You're like, you don't always want to be cheesy that it's about you, but you want to know something. It does have to be about you. Um, but learning what's valuable. Have you asked that on your Facebook or on your Instagram? There's a post. Ask people. What Not they really. I, I think I put it out there a couple of times. But, uh, one thing is, what do you want to see? I've put that. Have you done stories? There. Have you done stories where they okay. have to choose oh yeah all all the time okay and are you getting some feedback i'm getting amazing feedback but not specifically to what they want to see because it's always the same people and i'm doing the 21 social and doing all that but it's literally all the, always the same people that are engaging and i just want to give them something new and bigger okay and 
I, I like hearing this. Um, it, it does have to be about you, but it doesn't always have to be about fitness. So how to right. create value um, is, doesn't have to be fake. You know, what's valuable to you um, is going to be valuable to the people who connect with you. So you have to think about what's important to you. And yes, your family is important. Yes, your nutrition and your health and your fitness is important. But what else is important to you? You know, alone time or, you know, maybe it's being balanced in your career with while you're building a business, things like that, um, you know, and yeah, so awesome. I love that because we're going to touch on some of that too. So thank you. And I'm writing some of this down. Of course, I'm recording this call too. So Dave and Kristen will get to watch the replay and be able to offer some solutions as well. And if anybody wants to chime in at the end um, and offer solutions as well, I because there are a lot of amazing posters on this group, um, and uh, I, you know, I like you guys to engage as well. Anybody else? Let's take one more before I go ahead through these uh, little fun tips that I found. Anybody else? Come on, one more. I'll go. Thanks. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very good at like calling, you know, waiting for the audience. So. Okay. It's, uh, letting it all sink in. <laughs> um, I just feel like sometimes I'm repeating myself mm -hmm. and thank goodness for the new, um, the mompreneur site. But sometimes I just like, like, Oh my God, here I go again. I sound like, uh, you know, like I'm saying the same thing over again, just, wording it differently and I and I'm spending like I try to see what other coaches are doing just to kind of get ideas and 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 you know make it my own it's just sometimes it's just like repetitive yeah so you're kind of at a loss for words then like you're yeah. like okay I got, like, I, I got nothing else <laughs> what else do I have yeah, it's been like, um, okay, now what? And I'm trying to pull the words and, and just that. And Can then I, I get an example? Can I get an example? Like, is it about fitness? Is it about the business? Can I get an example of what you mean? Well, honestly, I don't, I don't do posts about the business. I don't, okay. um, I just feel like I'm not, um, I'm not where I want to be to say, you know, I'm, I'm making so much money, you know, that it's, it's, you know, it's a great join me, you know, and I, and I talk to people personally that way, mm -hmm. but, um, my posts are basically about fitness or about nutrition or about my kids and the struggling with the kids. And, um, it's like, okay, how many times can I say it was hard to do my workout this morning? You know, but I still did it. Get up and go. You know, I feel like I should go back to my, originally when I first started, I was quoting um, famous writers or, or famous uh, people, just famous, like Oprah was like my favorite to go to. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to go back to that, to quoting. Um, Jericho, I'm doing the MM100, and even though I do like it, I think Autumn gave value more like she gave more um uh she gave like things that i could say that i could use jericho you know she tries to tell you okay make sure your form is okay make sure you're doing this you know she's counting where autumn was like you know she'll throw in like a quote here and there that i was like oh that's a good one you know and i would write it down and i think i would go with that and now i'm just like uh you know so you're, you need to be inspired. I'm just overwhelmed today. I don't know. <laughs> you need to be inspired is what, is what I'm hearing is that you, you're like, okay, I, I'm running out of my own content. I need to be inspired. And you know where that comes from? Personal development. What are you reading? I'm reading again, girl, uh, girl, wash your face. Okay. Um, um, there's a, a really good book I think is get over my, get over your damn self. It does give you good things to like say when people respond to this and like how to post. Um, 
and and it's also good about um, post uh, sharing this business. Do you want to be a helper or do you want to be a CEO of your business? Have you made that decision yet? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to be a business owner, you have to post about the business. <laughs> you have to. It's a mistake I made in the very beginning. I was very attractive in the beginning, and I think I had a lot of um, uh, very successful growth in the beginning, but I, didn't pro I really didn't promote the business. Uh, so when the business boomed, a lot of people got scared. They weren't, you know, they didn't, they suddenly didn't want to be business. They didn't want to own businesses. <laughs> they were like, eh, you know, this isn't what I, I, I need to do. So it's, if you want to attract business builders, you do have to post about the business, but um, I'm not here to tell you what you have to do. You build your business the way you want to build your business. Um, awesome. Well, I'm hearing, um, okay, so I just made a couple uh, of notes here. I hear from you guys that uh, things are repetitive. You're, um, you don't want to feel fake when you're posting. Um, you're getting interaction on fun, silly, cheesy uh, posts, which is great because we got to have some of that. We got to let people know that we're fun. Um, but we don't want to feel cheesy, right? We don't want to feel cheesy uh, talking about ourselves. We want to feel comfortable in that. We want to be inspired is what I'm hearing. So, uh, and we want to know what's valuable to our people. So you have to be inspired to inspire. So it is so very important that, okay, great, you're not getting the, motive, the, the inspiration or motivation from your workout, so how do you get it from within deep in your soul? And how do you go ahead and transfer that into words? And the best way to transfer that kind of stuff into words is to word vomit in a journal. Is everybody journaling? If you're not journaling, I highly recommend it. Um, MM100 is a program that encourages journaling. If you're not doing that part, then you're just doing the workout part. You're not actually getting the full part of that. So you want to go ahead and write down those feelings like, gosh, I really wish, I really wish she would have said something different, or I really wish she would have said, you know, <laughs> write those things down because when you put things down in words, those are your posts. Those are the things people want to hear. You know, I had somebody in a challenge group today say, you know, I'm really not like an MM100, but I showed up, I, I paid extra for it, I showed up and I did it. And so I immediately didn't care that she didn't say that she didn't like it. You know, I, I didn't find it to be negative. I found it to be a positive turn in that she showed up, she did it anyway because she committed to it. And so you can take something and turn it around into something positive. And I mean, that was just a post in our, in our challenge group, but if she was a coach, well, she has a coach, but she's not building her team. But the point is, is that if she were to post something like publicly, that's, that's relatable to people. Like sometimes we got to do things that we don't like in order to get a new result. Right. And that's what I was just saying to Griffin. Griffin, you got to do, you got to do plies and jumps and these things that we do. <laughs> I forget all the names of them. <laughs> we call them something different in ballet. So she makes up different words. Um, anyway. Okay. <laughs> I know it feels awkward. My husband won't do it either. So, okay. All right, so I pulled these tips from um, Forbes, okay? I pulled them from, I'm a, I'm a businesswoman at heart, so I read Huffington Post and Forbes magazine. <laughs> so um, I, I was like, you know what? We're CEOs of our businesses. Yes, I'm gonna go to the big guns and I'm gonna look at business today and see what they're talking about on social media in regards to sales. We want to shun that word out of what we do, but at the end of the day, we do want to sell and promote our product. And we should feel comfortable about that. 
because we love it. I have said from day one, sharing this business is like inviting my friends to my favorite restaurant. I'm sure my coaches on this team who are on this call right now can vouch to that. Um, and I, I, you come to my hometown, I'm going to take, I might cook you my favorite meal, but I might take you to my favorite restaurant as well. So you have to feel good about that. But you have to be honest about your journey and relatable. So there is this guide is, um, it's great because it's kind of like four little tips about what not to do and then what you should do. So what turns people off on social media, right? They're interacting with some of these, these posts, but they're not interacting with the other ones. And you're kind of like, but it was such a good post. Um, and so number one is the, I'm so excited post right? If people have been watching you for a while, they probably know that you're a Beachbody coach, right? Um, if you're a new coach, they don't. But suddenly, if you've never been so excited about something and you're now posting about something you're so excited about, they're going to be like, what's up? Right? So it's that overly excited sometimes can come across as desperation. And we've all done it exclamation points lots of emojis to grab attention you know this right now for a while that was working for a little while it's not working anymore it's not what people want to see so um so here is a example of how instead of being overly excited like griffin said he's not overly excited about mm 100 but and he's the number one tip is be honest so i love that he shared that because he was being honest right be honest however how you add value is when you relate so having are you having a hard time with and insert a pain point what's the pain point what's your pain point nutrition, uh, motivation. And, and you don't have to use like fitness all the time. It could just be like motor motivation. Joanna, right? Is it Joanna's your name? Is that your name? Sorry. I'm yeah. I'm terrible with names. I, I was trying to remember and I got it right. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I can't see it for some reason. Um, um, you said inspiration. You know, talking to that pain point. Have you ever had a hard time with being inspired? I'm trying to get through this program that I'm actually enjoying the fitness part of, but, you know, maybe you're just not connecting with the trainer. And that's okay, but you're committed and you're going through it. So you want to be relatable to the solution and to the person the person who's, who's going to hear you um, is, is the person that knows that they can actually learn something from you. Because, they're, again, they're relating to your pain point and then the solution in which you're providing. And that's like, oh, yeah, I can do things that I don't like. I do things that I don't like every day. I get up, I go to work, I punch in, I punch out, I come home, cook dinner, go to bed that's not fun, <laughs> right? But we do that because that's our, those are our lives. That's what we do. Um, so we have to go ahead and find a relatable, honest pain point. So you're not always overly excited. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little scared. I, I'm not a little scared. I'm a lot scared of, of um, the work. I am excited about it in some ways, but I'm a little nervous about it because, you know, I have, I have a neck injury. For those of you who don't know, I have a neck injury. So I got to, you know, I got to be mindful about that. Do I want to do the new product because I'm so excited? Yeah, I do because I want to launch it, but I'm a little nervous about it personally. So that's a pain point of mine. And I have to be able to share that honestly and not just be overexcited. So number one, be honest and don't be overly excited. 
because then people are just like, what's up? Okay. Number two, uh, turn off is the, uh, the arrogant poster, the look at, look at me poster. Uh, we've referred to this on many calls and we've said this for years and we can't even take credit for it, but it's Danielle Natoni has always said, if you read your post and your response is, so what? <laughs> so when you read your post and it's like, I just did this today and someone else is reading like, so what? Right? It, it can't just, oh, like you said, Joanna, it can't just always be, uh, or it wasn't Joanna, it was somebody else. I think it was, I didn't see her name. I didn't write down. Um, you know, the fake posts always being like, oh, me and my kids did this today and life is so great and blah, 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 blah. No, life isn't so great. Who's the one who posts about the 12 uh, temper tantrums that their kid had in that little bit of a weekend that they spent pumpkin picking, right? So again, you want to be relatable and share, you know, the fun, the glorious, um, but also the real, um, and you don't want it to be so arrogant. So um, for those guys, when you start doing like, my husband does this, and I think it's amazing, but I also think it's crazy and a little arrogant when you post pictures of him doing like flying push-ups. I'm like, Ugh, no one else can do that. Why are you posting that? <laughs> um, but again, it's just one of those things that you want to be careful. Um, because again, you don't want to call something like the ultimate killer skyrocket and it's totally rad. And people may not be excited about that as well. Right? So um, if you want someone to do something, let me go ahead and scroll here. Instead, um, people love anything that makes life easier for them. Okay? So instead of showing this awesome thing, and I've done this too. Has anybody posted a picture of them doing an MM100 run in the air? Has anybody done that? What? Oh. You know the, the running jumps? Yeah. Right? You're so proud of yourself, right? Well, guess what? People who are looking at that, they're like, I can't do that. <laughs> it's not relatable. It's just, it's just over the top for them. So instead, and I've done it too. So I'm not like calling any, anybody out on anything that I haven't done myself. Um, people love anything that makes life easier for them. So, you know, it's, it's easier to be advertised something about how, intense but short of a workout it was in your own home before you went to work right that's more convenient so promoting a content that also gives a vibe that you know that this is working because you're also sharing the fact that people are getting results in your challenge group right it doesn't have to be just about you right so sharing the journey of others who you've had permission of in your challenge group is important too. Um, and then of course, there's always the beach body uh, results that they share. And, you know, it's funny, we say not to post too many things that are, uh, what's the word, like stock photos of, of product and things like that. Um, but those before and after pictures, those transformation pictures, those pictures speak volumes. They always get um, a lot of interaction. And so instead of just being like, look how great these people are, they had this transformation, blah, 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 blah. You know, read about those people and share their words. And like, because their words are, they struggled, they had this going on, they had, you know, they got sick, you know, and they still pushed through and they still got these results. So again, anything Share things that help people um, make life easier for them um, and giving the vibe that you know what you're talking about because you're not just sharing your journey and how great you are, but you're sharing the results of others as well and the things that they're saying. Uh, people love that. They really do. Um, and then again, 
adding a little bit of your own personal emotion to it. Guys, if you're not emotional about this business, um, it's you, you should be a little bit, like you can be very business minded and very focused, but it's got to touch you here. Share that. And um, if you don't know how to be inspired in that way, then um, try read, try finding a book that's going to not just be business minded or leadership focused, but inspirational for you. So it's good to always kind of have two books going. Okay. Um, so tip number three, and oh my goodness, I'm I talk too much. You guys should like cut me off. Okay. Nobody, nobody loves the, number three. Nobody loves the spammy guy. Okay. So we, again, those stock photos, mm -mm. post content. That's just real. Somebody said about making that perfect picture. Okay. Yes. Nicole, Instagram wants pretty pictures. I get it. But pretty pictures can also mean real pictures just with all the same silhouette, right? all the same with the same vibe, the same tone, but also real. We're not fashion bloggers, right? <laughs> hello. Oh, hi. My, my phone just said hello to me. That was kind of funny. Um, we're not fashion. Hello. Stop it. We're not fashion bloggers. So, um, you know, it's not necessary. Um, instead, what you want to do is... Um, you know, those inspirational quotes you were talking about, Joanna? Yeah. People love that. People do. You should, you should quote not notary people. You want to know, because you, history is, is so good. History repeats itself, right? And there are so many good thought leaders in this world. And yes, we're growing as you know, inspirational leaders to people, but in order to be a good thought leader, we have to surround ourselves with inspiration ourselves. So yes, do that. Go back to that. If you got a lot of engagement early on with that, do it because people do find inspiration from that. And then they know that you're working on yourself in that way as well. Share a really nice quote and then what it means to you. Okay. Um, and then the last, the fourth one is, um, is that like that urgency quote. Um, again, it just shows like us, listen, we all have goals to meet in our lives and we all want to hit success club, but we know we have to be comfortable and confident that we are inspiring people every single day. So if you are a ticking time bomb at the end of every month, like Right now, we're at the end of the month. We've got one more week to hit Success Club. You have to be okay with, with, that, with whatever the outcome is, okay? You can create urgency around it, but your words have to let people know that it's okay that this doesn't happen this month. It's okay that you set goals for yourself and you don't achieve and that you did not meet it it doesn't mean that you're not continuing to work there because everybody is always working towards something, right? So, and not just in Beachbody, in their personal lives. So find out, ask people, what is it that they are working so hard for? And you will start getting people to respond to you. And a lot of times people will say, I work hard for my families. Well, can you relate to that yourself? Do you work hard for your family? Do you have a side business because you want to do better by your family? That's what you share. That's why you're doing it. And it all comes down to your why. And so um, promos are good. And this was actually on a wake up call, um, on the wake up call when they were talking about the promos. Um, and it was also in, I think, the Beachbody Champions group, where be very careful on how you use promo codes, okay? You, you just don't want to be like, got a promo code, you're going to save $10. You know, that's salesy, right? That's, that's feeding the idea that a sale is better. So 
So what happens when you don't have that anymore? That, that can't be what gets somebody. That's a mindset of everything, is on, everything on sale is better. And that and we know that that's not true. We know that Shakeology is what feeds our souls. Not that's it, $10 that we saved. When it's a reality for people who need health and they need to save money, just be, be a little bit selective, okay? When you're engaging with people, find out the people who really need those promo codes, right? And that's who you want to give them to. So, um, any questions? Are you guys following some coaches in this business? Doesn't have, could be on the scene. Um, but do you follow and relate to any coaches in this business that you follow and learn from? Yes, Nicole, anybody else? You know, they always say, if you want to be successful at something, find someone in whom you relate to, who has what you want, and model them. So it's not about following all the top coaches. You know, you could look at the top 10 coaches and not relate to any one of them and not want what they have and they, they want. Find someone in this business who has a lifestyle I actually just gave this advice to my youngest daughter. Find the lifestyle that you want and then find the person who has that and learn what they did. Okay? So we can give you all of these things to do. So when it comes to posts, look at what other people are doing. But you have to be genuinely yourself. And when you're at a loss for words, I really, really recommend free writing and just journaling because a lot of good stuff is just going to come out. And sometimes when I'm in the shower, I keep, I actually keep a journal on my nightstand. Um, I think I'm going to journal before I go to bed. Uh, it, it happens when I come out of the shower, throw a towel on and there's so many things going on in my head. And so then I start crazy writing. So, those are, um, those are the things I, I found tonight to help you with valuable content. Again, it's not rocket science, guys. You should always just be sharing about you. It doesn't have to be about the product. But I'd like to open up the floor. I know you guys are going to start hopping off. But if anybody has any questions, I want you guys to um, ask them or have another last minute open dialogue, and then otherwise we can go ahead and close out. Speechless. I can't, okay, so I know everybody who's on this call, let's at least take a picture so we can show, every, show David and Kristen that we were all here. Smile, everybody. <laughs> um, and we are, um, I'm gonna go, Look at all of your next posts. Just be inspired to inspire, guys. Who is it? Who is it that, who are, who are you, right? What inspired you? Talk about that. If Oprah inspires you, you should be talking about her. Because there are other people that she yeah, inspires. She's great. So she's awesome. awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. Who Thank else you. has good posts? I'm sorry. Yeah. To no, yeah, tell me. Will Smith. Yes. Oh, his motivational stuff is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to put that out there. You Just, should. if you're not sure what to post, go look for inspiration. It's out there. Mm -hmm. It's out there. Just don't worry. It's not, it doesn't have to all come from your head, but it does have to be genuinely from your heart. So whatever inspires you is going to inspire other people who are, who you want to be around. Okay. Girl, I got, I got three kids and activities every night of the week. That's who I'm looking for. So I'm talking about that. I don't need inspiration. I got like life. Yeah. It's you got real life, right? Well, yeah. Yep. I hear ya. Yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> you talk about that. You talk about the that's you know that those are the pain points, right? Talk about those pain points. You got life. Life is hard. 
We say in my challenge groups all the time, we can do hard things. We do it every day. This 20 minutes ain't nothing. And you didn't die, Griffin. It was hard. You did not die. True. Right? True. You did not True. die. <laughs> so, like, the, workout, the workout for my day is like a nothing. Like that's yeah. like that's like a, a hot 30, 40 minutes of my day. If y'all want to come somebody, here and take yeah. Once somebody learns that like, though. Like, take my three kids and uh, like bathe them, feed them. D hand up my wife and I both work full time. So I'm like, if y'all want to go through this, let's roll. Yeah. So that's what do I'm it together, doing. please. <laughs> it's more fun. Bad, you awesome. post the good, bad, and <laughs> Find those pain point, find, find your pain points, talk about them. If you're, there are things that you're inspired about, talk about it. If people aren't responding to fitness and workouts and food picks, don't post that. That's not, they're not attracted to that. People are going to follow you because of you, who you are, yep. not Beachbody. You, they, I, I learned that day one as a coach. People follow you because they are attracted to who you are, your energy, your vibe, your inspir. I hear all the time, you're such an inspiration. I'm like, if I'm such an inspiration, then join my challenge group. <laughs> but that's not fun yes. either. That's not fun either, though, because that's that like desperation part coming out. You know, you have to have patience and trust and understand, and it has to be mutual. They have, you have to know that it's not, it's timing for people sometimes, you know, there, 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 people do have hard things that they have to deal with. And it's not always the right time to push them right into something that they may not be ready for, but in a year from now they are, you know, but building that relationship, knowing that you will always be, a, be, be there for them just because they said no, doesn't mean you're going to stop talking to them. You know, even those challengers that stop showing up in your challenge groups, keep your relationships with them. Keep building that relationship because they will probably come back to you. That's where I'm in my business right now. All the people who've quit five years ago, they're all coming back because they're like, you're still doing this. I'm like, yeah. And look, you know, so it's, it's, it's truly amazing. Just do this from your heart, guys. When you post, share from your heart. If it sounds cheesy, then it is. If it sounds cheesy to you, then it's cheesy to, some, to the people who you're looking for. If it's not... Hey, Shannon, real, Shannon, yeah. real quick. Thank you. Thank you for tonight. Uh, uh, on, on behalf of everybody in here, <laughs> thank you so much for taking... No, honestly, like, thank you so much You're for welcome. taking the ball, Dave and Kristen. And oh. I know this, the, the easiest thing for you. I know it's fun for you. I can, I can feel it in your passion. Yeah. But thank you for taking this on for them and for doing this still for all of us. Thank you. I speak for everybody on this You are line. so very but, welcome. And um, I see some familiar faces on here as well. And for those of you who know me, I am a, a, I'm a go-giver at heart. Um, so if anybody ever has any questions or about anything, please do not hesitate to ever ask out, uh, to ask me. Um, it's just, that's actually what brings me, uh, joy and fulfillment in being a coach. So fulfillment is part of, if you're not enjoying this here, then you got to find what does that for you. So, um, helping, you know, you guys succeed is, is, is part of me feeling like I'm, I'm being fulfilled and then I can be successful in how I share with others as well. So thank you for showing up. All right, guys, uh, we are over time. I don't want to keep you too late. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you guys have any other questions, um, call me. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.